In this challenge, I've asked you to create grouped box plots of a variable in an external data set that contains information about Google searches on terms like NFL from state to state in the US. The first thing we're going to do is load an external data set. It's called searchdata.csv. I'm going to load it into an object called GSD for Google search data. That one's loaded now, and I'm going to look at the first five rows of this data set. And what you see, there are a number of variables in there. We have the popularity on a state by state basis of the terms NBA, NFL, and FIFA for soccer, and then whether they have an NFL, an NBA, or a major league soccer team. Also, the percentage of adults with degrees, the average age, and the region. So we're only going to be using two of those in this particular example. What we're going to be doing is drawing a box plot of interest in the NFL, National Football League, by region. I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it once with a basic version. All I need is the built-in function box plot, and then I specify the data set and the variable by GSD, that's my Google search data object that I just created, and then the dollar sign to indicate the variable NFL, and then the tilde is to say as a function of or broken down by GSD dollar sign region. If we do that, here is our box plot. Let me zoom in on that one. It's adequate, it's informative, and one of the things you can tell is that the Midwest appears to be a lot higher and relative interest in searching for the NFL. Now, when I saw that originally, it made me wonder which states actually counted as the Midwest for Google's purposes. And so I actually brought up this little piece right here where I'm asking it to print out in the console GSD, but just show me the states that are listed as Midwest, where region is equal to Midwest. And what I have here Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. And what's interesting about this is looking at the values on this variable, there's North Dakota and South Dakota and Wisconsin all have unusually high values. They're all more than two standard deviations above the mean in terms of relative interest in the NFL, which is interesting because North and South Dakota don't even have NFL teams. I've seen similar patterns elsewhere where interest in the topic is not correlated with whether that thing is available where the people are that may or may not be reflected here one way or the other. But I'm going to produce a second box plot because while this one is adequate, I think it's immensely unattractive. And so what I'm going to do is use this larger thing. I'm going to use our color brewer. I'm going to launch it that way. And then I'm going to do a number of things. This first line 16 specifies that I'm charting NFL as a function of region. That's the same. 17 says I'm going to use color brewer and then I'm going to use four different colors from set two. That's one of the qualitative palettes. In line 18, box wax, I'm going to be making the boxes a little thinner. And then line 19 is whisker line type. I'm going to use one, make some solid lines. Line 20 is staple line type. I'm just going to turn them off. Those are the horizontal lines at the top and bottom of each plot. And then out PCH, that's the symbol for the outliers. I'm going to change it from an empty circle to a solid circle. Then I'm going to change in line 22 the color for the outliers to match that of the boxes. In 23, I'll put a main title on. 24, I'll put a X label that indicates region of US. And 25, I'll put a Y label that says search interest in Z scores. So I can highlight all of that code right there and run it by pressing Command Return. And that I think is a much better plot. It's a lot cleaner, more professional looking, and I think easier to read. And it still shows that the Midwest is a lot higher than the other areas. Now, there's a number of ways to produce these charts. This is one solution. Hopefully, you came up with something else that you thought was interesting, was informative, and creative.